Initially, the TC lab will consist of this system, which comprises the discrete time state variables x plus bu. The output will be c by x. Therefore, their T lab consists of three blocks, block b, block c, and block a. Block A represents the dynamic matrix, block B represents the state vector, and block C represents the output vector. In this specific case, they only have one output of interest, which is the reason why they find these videos particularly helpful, which is the temperature is very simple. We only have a single state, and performing this controller will be quite easy, and we will see that it will work very well. And here, what we are going to do is to feedback the states with K1 that we will bring here to the state feedback and additionally we will add the integrator action to follow the constant references or step references. Here will then be all the explanation in this regard. If you want to see the video, it is explained in detail each of these matrix calculations and as you already suspect by having matrix calculations, we will have to program some things in our microcontroller. If you want to learn how to program this control algorithm, I've got something special for you. I've created a Udemy course focused on teaching you how to program and apply different control algorithms directly on Arduino. This course is designed to take you from the basis all the way to advanced applications using practical examples in real world scenarios. Simple, click on this card or the link in the video description to enroll in the course at special discount. This discount is only available through these links, so you won't find it if you search directly on Udemy. You'll have lifetime access to the course and can progress at your own pace. You can ask me any question about covered topics and I will always be here to answer them. At the end of the course, you will earn a certificate of completion. So, I hope to see you in the course. We are here again. Remember to always check the board you have installed, check the con, and of course we click on upload. The loading begins as we observe here. Our Arduino is receiving the configuration. Let's ensure that everything is properly set up and functioning as expected before proceeding further with the demonstration. From state feedback control, we are prepared to minimize. In this case, we open our renowned test lab to verify if this already designed control is no longer just tuning, but a complete design. Let's observe its behavior. Currently, it indicates that we are at a temperature of 31 degrees. In the simulation, we applied a step input of 45, if my memory serves me right. Now, let's execute it. Here, we have provided a reference of 45, and we can already observe that the system has started responding. Perfect. This confirms that our control design is effective and meets the desired specifications. The TS Lab simulation accurately represents the real world system, allowing us to validate our control strategy. With this successful result, we can confidently conclude that our state feedback control approach is reliable and robust. We have witnessed the impressive effectiveness of this state feedback controller and how well it performs in practice. Initially a set point of 45 degrees, we observe that the controller computes a remarkably smooth, extremely pleasant control action, and the controlled variable effectively achieves the reference value. We add or subtract the step in the 24th. Arrives more or less at 300, almost 400 here in a little at 620 something, we apply the reference 60 and once again we have a variable manipulated smoothly and slowly. The controlled variable arrives again to its reference and here next to it for example I have as we had done the simulation of our process and we see that it is relatively very similar. Basically it was what we expected. Look I tried to place the set points exactly at the points we had simulated and we see that it effectively reaches close to 400 here. Also, I tried to put it around 600 and it reaches more or less around the second, around 1000. Perfect. It works the same as in the simulation. We also see it here. That the manipulated variable reaches slightly above 20, like around 23. We can observe 
that it is the same in this case where it reaches around 23. In the second view, it consistently stays below 40 and the same is true in real life. The simulation is completely consistent with this control design. I am going to save this graph from this experiment. I will also leave it in the video resources if you want to retrieve the graphs. I am going to input the control response, then I will click on save, which will also save the graph. And at that point, we observed how to efficiently implement this state feedback control mechanism. If you are interested in seeing the code and learning more about implementing controllers in real life using microcontrollers like Arduino, I invite you to enroll in the course. Click here to access the discount. Also, check out our playlist for more insights. I look forward to seeing you in the course. Take care and see you later.